Hi, my name is Rick. Um, this is my first attempt at what is called aquaponics. If you're not familiar with aquaponics, it's the same thing as hydroponics, except you don't have to buy your liquid solution that is the plant food. You're going to have uh, another source of uh, nutrients, which is actually fish waste. The fish waste will be pumped out of this drum here where the fish live, and the plants will be in containers up here in the top. The plants, in turn, will take that ammonia and the waste from the fish and also the nitrates, which is being um, made by the fish, which is actually nitrates to nitrates. And the plants will survive that way. What I have here is I have a 55-gallon plastic drum that I've cut the top off of, and I've kind of customized it a little bit. If you look down inside there, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, we'll try. You might be able to right by the pump, there's one. These are actually called bluegills. I got these out of my local pond. Um, really available if you can uh, catch them. There's small fingerlings in there and there's also some that are maybe four or five inches uh, in size. Eventually, once this is stocked up, I'll probably have about 30 fish in there. But for right now, there's no uh, plants running right now, and I'm building up my uh, bacteria for the fish. So to start out, we have a submersible pump. It comes up this discharge hose, plastic hose, rubber hose, I'm sorry, and come up to a fitting that I've got here. It's called a uniseal fitting. It's awesome. One inch pipe going in there. You just uh, drill your hole and slide the pipe in there and it creates a great seal. I wouldn't put on there any more than 50 pounds PSI, but for a system like this you're not getting that. These fittings right here are called rubber firm coat fittings. They're great fittings because what I've done is I've changed my whole system around. Uh, it's my own design um, and you guys can try to copy it if you want to, no big deal. It's just something that I've come up with. What I figure is if the system becomes uh, scummy and it needs to be cleaned out in any way, I um, can take off any one of these fittings because they have a adjustable band on there, a stainless steel band. You just unscrew it, pop it apart, and clean out every bit of it. This right here is actually 4-inch PVC pipe. The holes are drilled to 3 inches OD. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 16 holes, uh, so there will be uh, 16 plants. I've got a timer system that I've set up here. This light will go on about 15 hours a day. I'm picking up the rest of the light through um, a window, a basement window here. It's just sitting on top of a uh, shelf here that I've got. And what we have is the water actually comes up in the pipe there and you'll see it in the reservoir and it flows around here, goes around this way, and then back down in through this rubber Fernco 90 here. Now, like I said, I made this all pretty easy to take apart in case it needs to be serviced. And this here is a design that I've come up with for my biological chamber. This actually is where the bacteria will live that will actually convert the ammonia and the um, nitrate trite into nitrates, clean nitrate for the uh, fish uh, bacteria to be able to sustain aquatic life. What I have in here is I have filter material. Um, at the end of this video I'll post some pictures of what type of material I have and how I made it. It's actually like a blue uh, mesh material, filter mesh like you would use in your home heating system. There's roughly 16 discs that are running anywhere from half I guess the three-quarter thickness all the way through that entire shaft there and I have another piece of like polyfill round piece of filter up here and another piece down here and what I have here is this would be for the big debris in case it comes down large and it's not pretty broken down enough um, take it apart and I can clean it out no problem same thing down here there'll be another piece of uh, polyfill at the bottom of the, all this chamber and all that is to polish it so that the water comes back as clean as possible for the fish. Um, I have a, a valve here that I can throttle the uh, flow down or up if I want to. Just open it back up here and that would actually drain down the water reservoir. 
Um, looked like it was a little bit high there to begin with. And we'll just take that right back down. This will probably go down, as you can see it flowing here. Uh, probably come down to about maybe half inch on this side. And once that drains down a little bit, it'll be down to 3.8. But you can adjust whatever you want there, which is nice. And we're providing plenty of um, oxygen. It's being oxygenated for the uh, fish, which is great. And I think it's going to work out good. I'm waiting on my net pots to come in. Once they come in, then I can go ahead and uh, transfer my seedlings. The seedlings are being grown in a, in a seedling bed upstairs in, uh, in a bright window. Probably going to have, just to start out and see how we work out because it's cool down here. I'm probably going to do like arugula and some various other types of lettuces, probably a spinach or a um, maybe a, a butternut uh, type of a lettuce and uh, maybe romaine. We'll have to see how it all goes. Um, possibly tomatoes as the season progresses. Well, that's my system. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, email me or post it a video. Thanks.